Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the values of x that satisfy the given logarithmic equation. When you look at this equation, you'll see that this log term is in base 2, while this log term is in base x, the unknown, and this is in base 10. Of course, you know that when the base of the logarithm is not specified, it means we are working in base 10, common logarithm. To solve this problem, we need to change this log term from base 2 to base 10. And we need to change this log term from base x to base 10. This is already in base 10. Now you may ask why base 10? Why not continue in base 2? This is because here we have 2, here we have 5, and log 4 can be expressed in terms of log 2. Since 2 and 5 are factors of 10, it will be better for us to work in base 10. So changing this from base 2 to base 10, we have log to base 10 of x over 5 divided by log to base 10 of the old base, which is 2. And changing this from base x to base 10, we have log to base 10 of 2 over 5 divided by log to base 10 of the old base, which is x. And this is already in base 10. Now, remember that when we have log a over b, that this is equal to log a minus log b. So that simply means that this numerator can be written as log x minus log 5, while this numerator can also be written as log 2 minus log 5. And of course, here we still have log 4. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will express log 5 and log 4 in terms of log Two. You know that 5 is equal to 10 over 2. And applying the quotient rule, this can also be written as log 10 minus log 2. But then look at this. We have log to base 10 of 10. Remember that log to base a of a is equal to 1. So that means that this is equal to 1. So log 5 is equal to 1 minus log 2. Now also you can write 4 as 2 squared. And when we apply the power rule, we can bring down this exponent to the front to become a multiplier. When we do that, log 4 becomes 2 log 2. So now rewriting this equation, we have log x minus 1 minus log 2 over log 2 plus log 2 minus 1 minus log 2 over log x is equal to 2 log 2. And to simplify this calculation, let log x be equal to u, u for unknown, and log 2 be equal to t. With this substitution, this equation becomes u minus 1 minus t all over t plus t minus 1 minus t all over u is equal to 2 times t. Now, the next thing we are going to do will be to combine these two fractions into one single unit. How are we going to do that? We simply multiply this numerator by this denominator. We multiply this denominator by this numerator. And then we multiply this denominator by this denominator. When we do that, we have u times this, which is going to be u squared 
minus u into 1 minus t plus t times this which is going to be t squared minus t into 1 minus t all over t times u that is ut is equal to 2t and now of course the next thing we are going to do will be to cross multiply to get rid of this fraction on the left hand side when we do that we have that this numerator times one that is u squared minus u into one minus t plus t squared minus t into one minus t is equal to 2t times ut that is 2t squared u and opening up these two brackets we have u squared minus u times 1 is minus u minus u times minus t is plus ut we have t squared minus t times 1 is minus t and minus t times minus t is plus t squared bringing this term over to the left hand side we have minus 2t squared u and everything is equal to zero now let us tidy up the left hand side we have u squared plus let us collect all the coefficients of u here we have minus 2t squared here we have plus t here we have minus 1 and we are left with t squared plus t squared is 2t squared minus t and everything is equal to 0. Now notice that this is a quadratic equation in u because of course t is a constant that is log 2. So this is a constant and this is a constant and we can actually factorize this quadratic equation all we have to do is to find the factors of 2t squared minus t that add up to minus 2t squared plus t minus 1 and those factors will be minus 2t squared minus t and minus 1 because notice that when we multiply these two the negatives are just going to take care of themselves and this multiplied by 1 is going to give us this. Meanwhile, when we add these two, let me open this up. Here we have minus 2t squared plus t minus 1. So when we add these two, we are going to get minus 2t squared plus t minus 1. So that means that we can factorize this quadratic equation as u minus 2t squared minus t multiplied by u minus 1 is equal to 0 and from here we have that either u minus 2t squared minus t is equal to 0 or u minus 1 is equal to 0. From here we have that u is equal to 2t squared minus t and from here we have that u is equal to 1. But remember that u is log x and t is log 2. So here we have that log x is equal to 2 t squared minus t and here we have that log x is equal to 1 but then when we have a statement like this that is log to base a of b is equal to c it simply means that a to the power c is equal to b that is a to the power c is equal to b so here we have that Remember that the base of this logarithm is 10. Here we have that 10 to the power 2t squared minus t. 
is equal to x. And here we have that 10 to the power 1 is equal to x. Writing this out correctly, we have 10 to the power 2 times log squared 2 minus log 2 is equal to x and 10 is equal to x. So these are the two values of x that satisfy the given logarithmic equation. We can evaluate this with a calculator. When we do that, we have that x is approximately equal to 0 0.75894. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.